Hello, Marvelites. You are watching Marvel's Pull List. I'm Ryan, aka Agent M. And I'm Tucker Marcus. And every week we talk about all the new comics that come out because we dang read them all. We get excited, we get hyped, and we tell you why with a couple of books. Tucker, what are we talking about this week? Arachnophobes, look away or don't. This week it is spiders, 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 and more spiders. We are into the spider worlds and across universes and everything. And we're starting this week with spider Geddon number two. It's the place where everything collides and wow, are we feeling it in a big way. I just want to first start by saying I love the Inheritors. I think they're such a cool villain I, I, and, and villain group. They're super menacing yeah. and super scary. Reading this book and reading this series, there have been so many times where I'm like, this can't, this didn't actually just happen, did it? And then, and I'm just kind of befuddled every single time. It's so much fun to read. They dress like Victorian, like, yeah. you know, fancy pantses. Yeah. So you would make a wonderful addition to the Inheritors team. Oh, well, you know, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. But anyway, <laughs> out of the pages of Spider Garden comes uh, Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number one. This is so good. I am so happy we have another Spider-Gwen series. And this one actually starts before the uh, pages of spider Garden, And we get to see Gwen out of prison, sort of living her life, getting herself back to basics. Spider-Ham shows up and he's like, Gwen, we got a problem. Come with me. Uh, and so you, you roll right into very quickly the events of spider Garden, And then there uh, she's thrown off into another universe. So there's a big question in spider Garden, which is answered immediately in Ghost Spider. And it's really cool. I love the way that Sean McGuire writes this book because, you know, it pays reverence to everything that's come before with this character and her universe. Uh, but it just moves like so jauntily along. You keep that depth, it's all there, uh, but you're having so much fun along the way. Uh, and we're moving into now another spider Geddon tie-in with Spider-Girls, number one. This is a new book. We have uh, Mayday, we have Anya Corazon, we have Annie Mae Parker. And this book specifically is about those first two characters uh, getting to know Annie Mae. So we visit the uh, Renew Your Vows of Earth, uh, and we okay. see uh, Peter and MJ and their daughter Annie Mae there. Uh, and we see these five different spider characters interact in a really unique way, in a really specific way. You can feel the connections that they have and exploring them is gonna be uh, just a lot of fun. Yeah, and if you haven't read Renew Your Vows, there's some really cool stuff in there. Uh, big emotional things, especially when Annie Mae realizes kind of what seeing Mayday means to Peter and MJ. It's this wonderful, emotional, kind of heartbreaking moment. Uh, it's so good, I loved it. I also loved Infinity Wars Arachnite number one. Not a spider garden story, but a wonderful connection to another big event. And this is featuring one of our warps. They mashed two characters together. And here it is Spider-Man and Moon Knight. So fun. Uh, and, and what is cool about these is not just like, oh, I want to take Ryan and Tucker and push them together and we get Rucker. No, <laughs> you get something cool. You get something that uh, takes bits and pieces from the main characters weaves them together. Here you've got an origin that has bits and pieces of like Kanchu and Moon Knight, but with a spider twist. Yeah, I love seeing the kind of family inspiration and elements brought in from the Spider-Man side of things. And then exactly like you said, the kind of psychological uh, inside the mind side of the Moon Knight side of things. We see the spider that bites uh, this universe's use Ar Arachnite and gives him his powers becomes the voice inside of his head and becomes this kind of destabilizing thing that also gives him his superpowers. As well as that, I love the mashup of the costumes here. It, it, it ends up with a really cool, really unique uh, look that I think is just perfect for this story. It, it adds to this, uh, this warp in a way that I think is totally unique and so much fun. Heck yeah. Now, there's actually another Spider issue out this week. It is Amazing Spider-Man. If you want to learn more about that and all the other Marvel comics that came out, check out Marvel's Pull List, the podcast version on marvel.com or wherever you get your podcasts. We'll be back with another episode of this show next week. I'm Ryan. And I'm Tucker. And this is Marvel. Your universe. Your universe.